today we are going to talk about how to make your footage go from looking like this <laughs> to looking something more like this. I've got 10 tips to make your footage look more cinematic coming right up. If you haven't already, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button, it'll help a lot. We're just a small channel, just starting out, so please do that. Right, cinematic rule number one. <sighs> Cinema bars. Because these are very, very important. It draws the viewer to the subject and it will just make it all round look more cinematic. Number two, colour grade. Don't forget to colour grade, it is like one of the most important things you have to do. It takes your footage feel looking like this, to looking like this. It's something that is so, so hard to get right. It will take hours and hours of your time, I'm not gonna lie. But it's just something you need to keep on at. Get better, get better at. I'm still improving myself. Take hours, just try to get it right. But with every video that I put out, I feel as if I'm getting better and better at it. So just do the same. Number three, I think this isn't really important, is having a cool font to put over your video. If it's like whether you're saying it's episode whatever, uh, or you're just putting a location name. At the end of the day, you're trying to make a cool cinematic video and you can't do that if you're going to have like Comic Sans as your text. I'm going to list a few down below some cool fonts, well, fonts that I think are cool and then you're more than welcome to use them for your own videos. Number four, create a shallow depth of field. Try and use a lens with f-stop between 3.5 and 1.2. This will create a shallow depth of field which is like the blur. At the back, you can maybe see it a bit behind me the now. You're getting the viewer to concentrate on the subject, the thing that you are filming, you know? Number five, stabilise your footage. The best thing to use is a gimbal. What we do is actually uh, use our drone, which already has a gimbal in it. It's the Mavic Air that we use, and it's great. It just works just as good. We use it handheld, and it just stabilises everything brilliantly and it saves us a fortune. Obviously you can stabilise in post as well, there's only so much you can do with that, you'd prefer to film it steady as you want it to be, you know. Number six, slow down your footage. 120 FPS is preferred, like again, we use our drone, we use it handheld, we shoot everything with that, saves us for forking out whatever amount of money on another camera that shoots with that. Number seven, shoot through objects to create depth, whether it be uh, like a bit of grass, a step or a bench or like whatever, whatever it is, it'll just create more depth and then more cinematic. Number eight, insert sound effects. This is quite important if you want to use the same website I use. I use Epidemic Sound. I'll put the link down below. They've got hundreds of copyright free music that you can use for, for your videos as well. They've got all the sound effects. Whatever you're looking for, they'll have it. It's, they've got thousands and thousands of audio tracks just sitting there ready to use. Number nine, music. How important is music? You need to choose the right track that suits the footage. Music is probably one of the things that I spend the most time trying to find the right track for my footage. Um, it's the first thing I do. It can take a couple of hours just to find one track just because you, you just want it to be perfect, don't you? So you're better putting more time in. Number 10, our final one, shoot at golden hour if you can. It's an hour before sunset and everything just looks so warm, silhouettes and it's just, it's just the perfect time to film if you're trying to get that cinematic look. We went up to Glasgow to get some morning shots. Here's some of the footage here. And you can just see that light, that sun rising, and it's a uh, really beautiful lighting. Uh, you don't even need to do much to it in colour grading wise. Well, there's my 10 tips to get your footage looking more cinematic. If you liked the video, comment down below, hit that like button, and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.